What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Princess Auto Snowmobile Lift. I'm making this video because I was searching before purchasing one and there was no videos talking about this lift. So I'm gonna unbox it, set it up, and talk to you guys about it. So first thought, as you can see, it's packaged really, really good. Everything is secured with this plastic over here. We have the hardware and some attachments over there. No complaints so far. Now, as you can see, everything is unboxed. I have the wheel casters over there, the bracket that the wheel casters are attached to. I have all the hardware laid out. To complete this install, you will be needing a 19 millimeter socket, a 14, a 5.8 wrench, and a 17 millimeters wrench. Let's get to it. Installing the caster bracket first. Now I'm going to install the caster. All right, guys, now we have this lift completely assembled. There's a few things I would like to point out to you guys if you intend purchasing the snowmobile lift from Princess Auto. So obviously, this is from Princess Auto. The quality is not going to be the greatest. There's obviously way better stuff out there. But for the price I paid, which is the sale price, I'm happy with it. But these are the things I would like to point out to you. The first thing is that the welds are not great by any means necessary. As you can see over here, there's some open... As you can see over here, the wires are actually even sticking out. So this was not cleaned up after the welds. And it goes on in some areas and in some areas like this it's not even welded there's two other spots like that i've seen it's not welded so that's the one thing i found out there are some areas that are not welded it's hard to say how this is going to play to this being durable and how it's going to perform but it's not something you want to find on something that you have purchased my second concern would be over on these areas where you have the bolt that's uh connecting these two pieces that actually raises the the sled I feel like there should be some kind of plastic washer in between all these areas. There's one, two, three, four of them, just to prevent this from chafing or rubbing on each other. But that's not provided, that's something I can take care of at a later time. This grip pad that was provided by Princess Auto is very, very poor. As you can see, all the glue is sticking out. My five-year-old can do a better job than that. It's even a bit worse on this side. Yeah, not good. And we have some of those weld spots like I was talking about. You can see where the wires are. Same on that side too. It's nothing crazy, but it's always the little things. These lifts generally go for about $300 to $400, if I'm not mistaken. I found it on a wicked, wicked sale. Uh, it's currently 2024. I picked this up, uh, I think January of 2024, and I got it for $124 plus tax. I'm happy. It is what it is. If I get too bothered about stuff like that, I can clean up that area and throw some dimes on it myself. Obviously, the lift comes with this hand crank. I'm not going to be using this. It's a 22 millimeters, and I have a 22 millimeter socket on the drill. It's better to use a drill and not an impact gun. You don't want to kill the jack. So we're going to try it out. Fantastic. So I will be using the drill. Like I said, it's much quicker than using the hand crank that came with this uh, lift. Now we're going to test it with a sled on it. So now we have the sled lift up. So now we have the sled lifted. It's not fully all the way up there, just I believe halfway right now. And so far, there are a couple of things I would like to point out once again. I've been trying to line this up for the longest time and it's just not possible. I think I'm gonna be fitting something else in there on both sides because right now it is just not possible to get this looking the way I want it to. But it is quite steady. 
a little bit of side to side movement, but not horrible. My flaws are also not the most level, so that could also be a factor. And now this is with the lift at the maximum highest. Uh, so far, it is really good. Like I said, I did pay the sale price for this. I'm very satisfied with it. I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to do because to me, it's serving absolutely no purpose on this lift. I'll need to uh, retrofit something over there so that uh, the side rails can rest on it. Same for the other side, but it is pretty good. Like I said, do I recommend this lift? Yes, if you're getting it on sale at the regular price, I'm not so sure. I'm certain there's something else out there that's gonna be better than this one. But for the sale price that I got it for, it's a no brainer. And if you're watching this video, you probably have a sled and you're into sleds. Well, be sure to check out my build video on this sled. I just picked it up and it's heavily wrecked. I intend to rebuild it just like everything else on my channel. If that interests you, be sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for those videos. On that note, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video helpful some way in deciding whether this is a lift for you or not. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.